Have you ever wondered why some women treat certain men like trash and others that they are chasing after so fervently? You are mistaken if you believe that the solution solely has to do with wealth or physical appearance. In actuality, there are plenty of attractive men who never get a date and plenty of wealthy men who are taken advantage of by women solely for their financial gain. So which is the real secret? The answer is simple. High value men know how to ignore women. In reality, most men are pathetic and desperate to get a woman to speak to them. In contrast, high value men are not. These men are insane because they know just how to ignore women. Pay close attention, assure you that if you ignore a woman, you will attract her. Women crave attention. And when you stop giving it to them, you immediately set yourself apart from the majority of men. You must, however, be proficient at doing so. That includes a psychological component. By the end of this video, you'll understand how to properly ignore women. Are you prepared? Before we begin, I would appreciate it if you liked the video. You can help me continue spreading the stoic philosophy. If you are not subscribed, I recommend you subscribe and activate the bell to avoid missing any videos. If you like the topic of this video, please comment with a number one. If you don't, please comment with a number two to let me know so I can make better videos in the future. Number one, attention. A woman receives countless notifications on her phone from sultry men requesting unrestricted attention on social media whenever she turns it on. Before she's even had a chance to brush her teeth, this boosts her ego. Recall that a high value man does not offer his attention without charge. In an attempt to strike up a conversation, he might approach a woman and introduce himself to her, but he ends the gratuitous attention there. Although he has now made himself known to the girl, he still acts as though she is not unique. That's the essential element. The woman will become perplexed by your actions and wonder why you are not pursuing her as much as other men do. Consider this. She receives a lot of unpaid attention from men every day. Why is this man not paying her any attention? What makes him so unique? The woman will then question why she isn't unique enough to catch your interest on her own. She basically can't accept that you don't give her the validation she usually gets, so she will go out of her way to get your attention. Please don't misinterpret what I say. Though these mind games might work if you truly value your time in life and prioritize important tasks, I'm not saying you should play mind games with women while you fap all day or play video games. A high-value man is not one to boost a woman's ego on social media by leaving comments and likes. He has better things to do. Leave those tasks to the weaker beta males and give her a reality check that will humble her. Number two, stop rewarding bad behavior. In the next section, we'll explore the idea of not rewarding inappropriate behavior. Men with high values know how important it is to avoid becoming entangled in pointless arguments and disputes. It's best to avoid the trap if a woman finds excuses to argue irrationally with you on a regular basis. This is usually an indication that they don't value or respect you, and you should take a step back. You are clearly telling her that her outburst will have repercussions if you do this. When that happens, don't give her the usual attention and care until she owns up to her mistake and extends her apology. Reacting or getting overly emotional can come across as weak. Recall that women are not drawn to frailty. Rather, keep your cool and remain silent if you're not sure how to react. Oftentimes, silence has a greater impact than needless speech. If you decide to speak, make sure it's brief, deliberate, and to the point. You can take back control of the situation with the aid of this tactic. Recall that it is essential for a high-value man to maintain his integrity and not condone inappropriate behavior. By demonstrating your resolve and strength, this not only establishes the tone for your relationship, but also makes you look more attractive. Number three, embracing the fearless mindset. Men with high value are aware of their value and self-assured in their ability to attract women. Instead of seeing women as unachievable superior beings, they see them as equals. They are incredibly alluring to women because of their fearless attitude, which also enables them to maintain composure and relaxation around them. On the other hand, a lot of men experience anxiety when they are around attractive women because they lack confidence in this high-value mentality. Here, charisma is crucial, and charisma comes from a strong sense of self-worth. Imagine yourself at your best, radiating confidence and strength at the peak of your life. Acknowledging and valuing yourself is essential to cultivating this fearless mindset. Begin by improving yourself in all aspects of life, and soon you'll find it hard to be daunted or overly impressed by any woman. Remember, you are your own greatest asset. Number 4. Be bold. 
you have to be able to approach women like a man before you can even consider ignoring them. It is the woman's path, not the man's, to be passive. Men with high values grab hold of their desires in life. They don't wait around for things to happen to them. As always, good fortune smiles on the bold. High-value men are aware that taking chances can lead to significant rewards. Go up to a woman without fear. Passively waiting for her is reserved for losers. Recall that facing rejection and failure is preferable to living with the regret of never having tried. Though you can't go back in time to take advantage of lost opportunities, you can always learn from your mistakes. Number 5. Don't change your plans for her. Men with high value recognize the value of their time. They lead busy lives with jobs, interests, social circles, and aspirations. They don't renounce their earlier engagements in order to make time for a meeting with a gorgeous woman. Yes, it may sound good to be so understanding, but you're telling her that she's more important than everything else. Even though you don't really know her, you're treating her like a superstar. Recall that an interesting man leads a separate life and isn't exclusively interested in women in social situations. She will see that she needs to put in more effort to get your attention when she realizes that your time is valuable and not something you give lightly. After all, time is one resource we can never get back, so spend it wisely. Number six, busy with the power of purpose. A man of high value has high goals of his own and is determined to achieve them. Such a man has no time for meaningless relationships or frivolous flirtation because he is so driven and focused. Rather, he devotes his efforts to creating a life he is proud of. Rather than waiting for good fortune to find him, he grabs the initiative and brings about the changes he wants to see. He's proactive, successful, and different from the typical Joe who gives women attention all the time. The package includes taking care of your body, working out, and finding employment. Imagine this metaphor. Getting a woman to like you is like going to war, and you need to have weapons to win. Your strength is your weapon of seduction. A wealthy life, a fit body, and a pleasant appearance are all part of your arsenal. Our channel is packed with advice on how to boost your appeal. Feel free to draw inspiration from it. Number 7. The Art of Independence Learn to be alone. We'll talk more about the value of independence and self-reliance in the following section. As previously mentioned, men of high value do not fear solitude. They cherish their alone time, utilizing it for reflection and self-improvement. They know that they don't need a woman to affirm their existence. Their self-worth is independent of their relationship status. They exude an immensely alluring sense of completeness and confidence because they are whole in themselves. This is not to say that high-value men aren't socially inclined or enjoy company. In fact, they are. However, they are aware of the distinction between needing and desiring a woman. Instead of someone who completes their life, they seek a woman who enhances it. They are selective in their relationships choosing only those who meet their high standards. So, gentlemen, learn to love your own company, learn to be comfortable with yourself, learn to be independent. This is the path to becoming a high-value man. Number 8. Embracing Directness and Precision We talk about the value of being precise and direct in this segment. In their interactions with women, high-value men recognize the importance of having clear communication. Steer clear of generalizations and avoid behaving like just another friend. Avoid overusing emojis or using silly language in your texts. Stay true to who you are while also assuming your manly essence. A high-value guy is succinct and accurate. There's no need to waste time talking about unimportant things. Let the fools handle the idle gossip. Never forget that it's preferable to accept rejection and move on rather than wasting time arguing with a woman who doesn't respect you. A woman is ignored or ghosted by a high-value man when she tries to play games with him. This sends a clear message that she needs to be on her best behavior around him, and it also signals that he can replace her if need be. Many men waste precious time stuck in toxic relationships that are destined to crash and burn. Don't let yourself fall into this trap. Be discerning in your choice of companion, and don't waste your time on those unworthy of it. Number 9. The Art of Selectivity High-value men possess a crucial quality that sets them apart in relationships. They are selective. This selectivity isn't about being picky for the sake of it, but rather about recognizing the value of compatibility and shared goals in a partnership. These men prioritize quality over quantity. Instead of pursuing every opportunity, they invest their time and energy into relationships that have the potential for genuine connection and long-term fulfillment. 
By setting high standards, high-value men communicate their self-worth and expectations clearly. They understand that a healthy relationship requires mutual respect and alignment in values. Moreover, selective men are adept at recognizing and avoiding toxic dynamics. They prioritize their emotional well-being and steer clear of relationships that drain them or compromise their integrity. To emulate this mindset, define your relationship criteria based on what truly matters to you. Don't settle for less than what aligns with your values and aspirations. Trust your instincts. High-value men listen to their inner voice, guiding them toward relationships that enrich their lives. Remember, being selective isn't about arrogance. It's about valuing yourself enough to attract relationships that honor and respect who you are. I encourage you to share your experiences and thoughts in the comment section. This channel, Stoic World, will help you move forward in your life, whether you're having relationships or career problems. Don't worry because my job is to help you in all areas of your life. So hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be updated about new videos. Let's grow and thrive together. Thanks for listening to me until next time. Nine ways to identify fake people. Behind every smile there's a story, but can you tell if it's genuine or just a mask? 1. Inconsistent stories. Beware of those whose tales wander and contradict. The stories of fake people often lack consistency, revealing a facade they struggle to maintain. These individuals are like chameleons, constantly altering their stories to fit the situation or audience. Their narratives often change dramatically over time, as they forget the details of their own fabrications or find new stories that serve their purpose better. This inconsistency isn't just a harmless trait, it's a deliberate tactic used to manipulate or impress others. Inconsistent stories are a hallmark of a lack of authenticity. Real people with genuine experiences have no need to constantly change their stories. Their life narratives are consistent, and while they might forget minor details, the core of their stories remains the same over time. Fake people, on the other hand, often find themselves trapped in a web of their own deceptions. As they struggle to keep track of their various tales, discrepancies become more apparent. This behavior can be particularly damaging in personal relationships and professional settings. In personal relationships, inconsistent stories can lead to a breakdown in trust. After all, if you can't trust someone to tell you the truth about their past, how can you trust them with your future? In professional environments, these inconsistencies can lead to a toxic workplace atmosphere where colleagues can't rely on each other and superiors can't make informed decisions. Identifying such individuals requires attentiveness and a good memory for details. By paying close attention to what someone says over time, patterns of inconsistency can emerge. This vigilance is not about being paranoid, but about protecting oneself from potential manipulation or deceit. When faced with inconsistent stories, it's important to question the narrative and seek clarity. Often, simply asking for more details or clarification can unravel a fake story, as the person may struggle to maintain the facade under scrutiny. 2. Superficial connections. Scratch the surface and you'll find shallow roots. Fake individuals prefer breadth over depth in their relationships, rarely forming meaningful bonds. These people often have a long list of acquaintances, but very few, if any, true friends. Their connections are based on what others can offer them, rather than mutual respect or genuine affection. Superficial connections are a strategy, a way to navigate social landscapes without ever truly committing to anyone. These shallow relationships are characterized by a lack of depth and understanding. Fake people don't invest the time and emotional energy needed to build real connections. They might know many people, but their knowledge of these individuals is often limited to surface-level details, names, job titles and other basic information. There's no sharing of personal struggles, no deep conversations about hopes and dreams, and no genuine emotional support. This approach to relationships is inherently self-serving. Fake individuals engage with others based on what they can gain, be it social status, professional advantages, or other benefits. They're often seen flitting from group to group, always seeking the most advantageous association. In doing so, they miss out on the true value of deep, meaningful relationships, the kind that provides support in tough times, joy in good times, and growth throughout life. The impact of such superficial connections can be profound. 
For those who form connections with these fake individuals, it can lead to feelings of being used or unappreciated. For the fake individuals themselves, it can result in a lonely existence, devoid of true companionship and support. They may find themselves surrounded by people, but lacking any real connection to any of them. To identify such superficiality, look for patterns in how individuals discuss their relationships. Do they only talk about what others can do for them? Do they switch social circles frequently? This behavior is often employed in both personal and professional contexts. In personal relationships, excessive flattery can be used to create a false sense of trust or to mask true intentions. In professional settings, it might be a tactic to curry favor or to distract from a lack of competence or commitment. The danger of this behavior lies in its ability to mislead and manipulate, creating an environment where genuine talent and effort are overshadowed by empty words. Moreover, those who frequently use excessive flattery often struggle with authenticity in other aspects of their lives. They may have a skewed perception of relationships, viewing them as transactions rather than mutual connections. This transactional approach can lead to a superficial social circle where people are valued for what they can provide rather than who they are. To navigate through such deceit, it's essential to learn to differentiate between genuine praise and flattery. Genuine compliments are usually specific, related to real achievements or qualities, and given without expectation of something in return. In contrast, flattery often feels vague, exaggerated, or unrelated to actual accomplishments. Being aware of these differences can help in identifying individuals who use excessive flattery as a deceptive tactic. 4. Lack of empathy. A hollow heart can't empathize. Those who are insincere often show a notable absence of genuine concern and empathy for others. This lack of empathy is a significant red flag, indicating a person who is unable or unwilling to connect with others on an emotional level. Such individuals often disregard the feelings and needs of others, focusing solely on their own desires and objectives. The absence of empathy in a person's behavior can manifest in various ways. It may be evident in their indifference to others' difficulties or in their inability to celebrate others' successes genuinely. They might disregard the emotional well-being of those around them or fail to offer support when it's needed. In more extreme cases, a lack of empathy can lead to manipulative or harmful behaviors, as the individual does not fully consider or care about the impact of their actions on others. This characteristic is particularly damaging in relationships, whether personal or professional. In personal relationships, a lack of empathy can prevent the development of a deep, meaningful connection. It can lead to a one-sided relationship, where one person's needs and feelings are consistently ignored or undervalued. In professional settings, it can create a hostile and uncollaborative environment, as colleagues and employees may feel undervalued and misunderstood. Identifying a lack of empathy involves observing how individuals respond to situations that require emotional understanding. Do they show genuine concern when others are upset or in distress? Are they able to celebrate others' successes without making it about themselves? Do they show understanding and patience during difficult times? Answering these questions can provide insight into whether a person lacks empathy, which is a crucial component of genuine and healthy relationships. 5. Manipulative behavior strings are for puppets, not people. Fake individuals often manipulate others for personal gain, disregarding the feelings of those around them. This manipulative behavior is a deliberate strategy to control or influence others to achieve one's own goals. It can take many forms, from subtle emotional manipulation to overt exploitation. Such behavior is inherently selfish and shows a blatant disregard for the well-being and autonomy of others. Manipulators often possess a keen understanding of human psychology and use this knowledge to their advantage. They might use guilt, charm, coercion or deceit to get what they want. This manipulation can be particularly damaging as it often goes unnoticed until significant harm has been done. The victims of manipulation might find themselves in situations where they feel confused, guilty or even responsible for the manipulator's actions. In personal relationships, manipulative behavior can lead to a toxic dynamic 
where one person constantly feels under pressure to meet the other's demands or expectations. This can lead to a loss of self-esteem, anxiety, and emotional distress. In professional settings, recognizing and addressing manipulative behavior is crucial for maintaining healthy, respectful, and authentic relationships. By being aware of these tactics and taking steps to protect oneself, it's possible to build connections based on mutual respect and genuine understanding rather than manipulation and deceit. Six, frequent disappearance. When the going gets tough, the fake get going. Notice those who only appear in good times but vanish during challenges. This pattern of frequent disappearance is a telltale sign of a fair weather friend or colleague, someone who is there for the ride but not for the journey. These individuals are quick to bask in shared successes or joyous occasions, but conspicuously absent during moments of difficulty or need. The harm of this behavior lies not just in the absence itself, but in the false sense of reliability it creates. People who frequently disappear betray the trust placed in them, leaving friends, family or colleagues feeling abandoned and unsupported. In personal relationships, this can lead to feelings of loneliness and betrayal, as the individual realizes that their connection was contingent on positive circumstances. Professionally, it can disrupt team dynamics and hinder progress, as these individuals fail to contribute in times of stress or challenge. Identifying such individuals requires a keen observation of patterns over time. It's important to notice not just who is present in moments of success or celebration, but also who remains when situations become challenging. Loyalty and reliability are proven in adversity not in ease. Seven, broken promises. A castle built on promises is built on air. Fake people make commitments easily but seldom follow through. This tendency to break promises is a critical indicator of a lack of integrity and reliability. Making a promise is, in essence, giving one's word. Breaking it is a sign of disrespect towards the recipient and oneself. It erodes trust and damages relationships, whether personal or professional. The impact of broken promises goes beyond the immediate disappointment or inconvenience. Repeatedly breaking promises can lead to a loss of credibility and respect. In personal relationships, it can cause emotional harm, creating an environment of uncertainty and insecurity. In professional settings, it undermines one's reputation and can jeopardize career opportunities and relationships with colleagues and superiors. To deal with individuals prone to breaking promises, it is crucial to set clear expectations and boundaries Holding them accountable for their commitments can sometimes prompt a change in behavior. However, it's also important to protect oneself from the potential negative impacts of their unreliability by not relying solely on their promises. Eight, excessive self-promotion. In their world, the spotlight never dims. Self-centered and constantly seeking attention, fake individuals often exaggerate their achievements. This excessive self-promotion is not just about having confidence or a strong sense of self, it's about a deep-seated need for validation and admiration. Such individuals often have an inflated sense of their own importance and believe they deserve constant recognition and praise. This behavior can be disruptive in both personal and professional environments. In personal relationships, it can lead to a lack of balance, where one person's needs and achievements overshadow everyone else's. Professionally, it can create a toxic environment where collaboration and teamwork are undermined by one person's need to stand out at all costs. Recognizing excessive self-promotion involves paying attention to how individuals talk about themselves and their achievements. Do they consistently dominate conversations with tales of their accomplishments? Do they exaggerate or fabricate details to appear more successful or important? Such patterns can indicate a tendency towards self-promotion that borders on inauthenticity. Nine, unreliable instincts. Trust your gut. Often, our instincts can sense inauthenticity before our mind can rationalize it. This intuitive feeling, sometimes referred to as a gut feeling, is an important tool in identifying fake people. Our subconscious can pick up on subtle cues and inconsistencies that our conscious mind might miss or rationalize away. However, it's important to remember that instincts are not infallible. They can be influenced by our biases and past experiences. Therefore, while it's crucial to listen to your instincts, it's also important to balance them with rational thought and observation. If your gut is telling you that someone is insincere, 
Take a step back and observe their behavior more objectively. Look for patterns and evidence that either confirm or contradict your intuition. Unreliable instincts can lead us astray, particularly in complex social situations where our biases and preconceptions play a significant role. Cultivating self-awareness and being mindful of these biases can help refine our instincts, making them a more reliable guide in assessing the authenticity of those around us. In conclusion, while instincts are a valuable tool in identifying fake people, they should be used in conjunction with rational analysis and observation. By doing so, we can develop a more accurate and nuanced understanding of the people we interact with, allowing us to form more authentic and meaningful relationships. As we navigate through the complexities of human relationships, understanding the signs of inauthenticity is crucial. Remember, the journey towards genuine connections is paved with awareness and wisdom. We've explored the subtle yet significant traits that reveal the true nature of those around us. From the inconsistencies in their stories to the unreliability of their commitments, each sign is a guidepost on this journey. But the quest doesn't end here. Our channel is dedicated to empowering you with insights and knowledge to enhance your understanding of human behavior and relationships. By subscribing, you join a community committed to personal growth and authentic living. Don't let the journey stop with this video. Hit the like button if you found these insights valuable and subscribe to stay updated with more content that enlightens and inspires. Share your experiences and thoughts in the comments below. Your story could be the beacon that guides someone else to clarity. Together, let's build a world where authenticity reigns and genuine connections thrive. Remember, your intuition is your compass, and your willingness to learn is the key to navigating the seas of relationships. Like, subscribe, and embark on this continuous journey of discovery with us. Every click, every share, every subscription helps us reach more people, spreading knowledge that has the power to transform lives. Thank you for watching, and remember, in a world full of facades, your authenticity is your greatest strength. Embrace it, nurture it, and watch your relationships flourish in the light of truth. When faced with disrespect, it's crucial to stay calm and collected. Stoicism, a practical philosophy, teaches us just that. It's about seeing others' rude actions as their own issues, not ours. We learn to detach from negativity and not let it control our emotions. This way, we handle disrespect with strength and understanding. It's a gradual process, but consistently applying these principles will show others that their negative behavior doesn't affect us. Stay strong and focused, and remember, the most impactful part of this advice comes at the end of this journey. 1. Reflect on yourself. Taking the time to reflect on oneself in the midst of conflict can be a powerful tool for resolving disagreements in a healthy manner. This involves examining one's own motivations and behaviors and considering how one's actions may have contributed to the situation at hand. By doing so, one can identify areas for growth and improvement and make changes accordingly. Additionally, reflecting on one's core values can provide a guiding framework for making decisions and taking action in situations of disrespect. Two, keep your calm. By keeping your calm in the face of disrespect, you can avoid adding fuel to the fire and escalating the situation further. Instead, you can choose to rise above the negativity and respond in a way that promotes healing and understanding. Remember, the other person's behavior is often a reflection of their own insecurities and misguided beliefs, so taking the high road and responding with compassion and empathy can help diffuse the situation and promote positive change. 3. Cultivate Empathy Empathy is essential for mending and strengthening strained relationships. By empathizing, we make an effort to view situations from the other person's viewpoint, gaining insight into their possibly disrespectful behavior. It's crucial to acknowledge that everyone faces unique challenges and hardships, and often such behavior is a manifestation of their inner turmoil or misunderstanding. Showing compassion towards their plight allows us to handle situations with more kindness and patience, even when we disagree with them. This approach isn't about excusing bad behavior, but about striving to comprehend its underlying reasons and responding with a heart full of understanding and love. Four, take a moment before reacting. In the face of disrespect, 
It's natural to want to respond immediately and emotionally. However, it's wiser to take a brief pause before reacting. This pause creates a space for clearer thought and a more composed, considerate response. By delaying your reaction until you've gathered your thoughts, you avoid escalating the conflict or causing additional problems. This mindful approach helps in handling the situation more effectively and prevents regrettable actions or words. 5. Respond with reason, not emotions. When dealing with disrespect, it can be tempting to respond with anger or frustration, but this only adds fuel to the fire. Instead, focusing on virtues like wisdom and courage can help us approach the situation with a level head and respond with reason rather than emotions. By demonstrating wisdom, we can find creative solutions to the problem at hand, while courage helps us stand up for ourselves and communicate effectively despite any fear or anxiety we may feel. Responding with virtue takes practice, but it can lead to more effective and satisfying outcomes in difficult situations. 6. Embrace acceptance. This is an important aspect of personal growth and development. It allows us to let go of unrealistic expectations and comparisons and instead focus on our own journey and progress. Embracing acceptance means acknowledging that we cannot control others' actions or reactions, but we can control our own responses and attitudes towards them. When we learn to accept people and circumstances as they are, without judgment or resistance, we can cultivate inner peace and happiness that is not dependent on external factors. In this way, we can respond to disrespect with grace and equanimity, rather than anger or resentment. 7. Choose forgiveness. Forgiveness is often seen as a sign of strength, not weakness. It doesn't necessarily mean condoning or forgetting about the hurt caused by someone else's disrespectful behavior, but rather choosing to release negative emotions such as anger, resentment and bitterness. By letting go of these emotions, we free ourselves from their hold and can focus on healing and moving forward. Forgiveness does not mean that we become doormats or allow others to walk all over us. Rather, it enables us to respond to disrespect with compassion and assertiveness, seeking justice and fairness without letting hatred or grudges consume us. This path may require time and effort, but ultimately it leads to greater inner peace and the ability to build stronger, more meaningful relationships based on mutual respect. 8. Set clear boundaries. Setting clear boundaries is an essential part of self-care and respect. It means being mindful of what you will and will not tolerate in your life and communicating those limits to others. Being the mountain refers to remaining steady and unshakable in the face of adversity, just as a mountain stands tall and strong, regardless of the winds that blow around it. We can learn to stay true to ourselves and our values, even in the face of disrespectful behavior from others. By setting clear boundaries and standing firm in our beliefs, we demonstrate to others that we won't be pushed around or bullied into submission. At the same time, this teaches us to respect ourselves and our own needs and desires, which forms the foundation of healthy relationships with others. 9. Leverage, humor and smiles. A touch of humor or a simple smile can effectively ease tensions and lighten overly serious atmospheres. We often exacerbate conflicts by immersing ourselves too deeply in our emotions, losing track of the larger context. Injecting humor or keeping a positive demeanor shifts attention from negative vibes to a more amicable communication space. It's essential, however, to be mindful that humor is used thoughtfully without seeming disrespectful or minimizing the other person's emotions. 10. Change your perspective. Embracing a wider perspective is key in managing tough situations with more insight and serenity. This means distancing oneself from the immediacy of the situation to view it in a broader context, understanding that change is constant and everything eventually evolves or fades. This broader viewpoint allows us to sidestep the traps of vengeful thoughts or anger, enabling us to respond with sagacity and empathy. It also serves as a reminder of the transitory nature of material gains, power and short-lived pleasures, which shouldn't overshadow our primary objectives and values. By adopting such a perspective, we can concentrate on cultivating lasting qualities like compassion, humility and wisdom. In summary, mastering the art of dealing with disrespect is achievable through Stoicism's 10 key lessons. These include staying calm, introspective reflection, 
pausing before reacting, employing humor, focusing on wisdom and courage, embracing acceptance and empathy, setting firm boundaries, opting for forgiveness, and shifting your viewpoint. By honing these abilities, you're not just responding to disrespect effectively, you're also standing up for yourself, healing from any hurt, and preserving your self-worth. Building this kind of inner fortitude takes real effort and dedication. It involves confronting your weaknesses, managing your emotions, forming positive habits, and leaning on mentors for support and guidance. The payoff, however, is immense, leading to a life filled with happiness, love, and purpose. So the next time you face disrespect, draw on these 10 stoic strategies. Day by day, they'll make you stronger and more adept at handling life's challenges. You'll discover that you have the strength to overcome any hurdle, internal or external. As the philosopher Epictetus said, we have control over our opinions, pursuits, desires, and essentially, our will. Take charge of your thoughts and actions, and embark on this journey towards resilience and inner strength. If you find value in this approach, please comment after watching the entire video. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights and check out the accompanying video I've linked for further exploration.